Hi, welcome to Floral Friday. I'm Jenny Martin, ethnobotanist, and something beautiful to look out for this weekend is the female flowers of the larch tree. So here are the female flowers of the larch tree, and then we have the male flowers that are also coming up around it. So larch, Larix decidua, in the Pinaceae family, so it is a pine tree, and it is, I believe, our only pine tree, actually, that loses its leaves in the winter. And one of my favourite things is camping in a larch woodland because it's like the floor has been carpeted with the softest of softest of needles and that is from the larch tree. So how do we know it's larch? So the pegs from which the leaves come out, they stay persistent on the twig. So here we've got some pegs that are persistent on the twig. So you can actually think about it as, as lumpy larch. And not only just lumpy larch, the needles come off in clumps. So you get clumpy, lumpy larch. So you get lots of needles, sort of 20 odd needles in one little clump. And they're all coming out here. You can see they're not quite out yet. So they're coming out soon. Bushcrafters like to talk about eating the, uh, the needles. And they are quite nice at this time of year. They're fresh and they're quite tasty. Mm. But apparently, according to Plants for Future, if you have a lactose intolerance, you should be, you should be cautionary in eating larch because it has something called galactose in it, which can be um, an irritant or can not be good for people with lactose intolerances. Also, there are some reports of kidney problems with people who ha um, take larch. So larch is actually not native. It was introduced approximately around the 1600s. And it's, it's native, this is European larch, and it's native to the Mediterranean area. And some of the ethnobotanical um, reports on it, or ethnobotanical studies on it on places like Slovenia, Austria, the Alps, are people using it traditionally for bronchial problems, for chest problems, respiratory problems. Also, as there are there's some there's some evidence of it being used, the bark being used, ground up and being used as a flower. So that we're talking about not the outer bark, but the inner bark being ground up and used as a flower. So lumpy larch also, it's interesting actually, I say this is Larix decidua, but it's possibly a hybrid and I will show you why. If you look at the cones, the cones also stay on the tree for a really long time, even after the seed has gone. If the bracts of the cone are pointing upwards, that will be our Larix decidua, that will be our European larch. If the cones are indeed pointing backwards, then it could be Japanese larch. Japanese larch also, the twigs are a little bit darker, but these aren't particularly as dark as Japanese larch, so I reckon this larch is probably a hybrid. They are wind pollinated and trees that are wind pollinated or plants that are wind pollinated the pollens can have an air sac which helps the pollen travel far and wide but the larch don't apparently have an air sac so they uh, the pollen will only travel about 300 meters so the beautiful thing to look out for this weekend are the female flowers which are these here these lovely purple flowers which will turn into pine cones and then also we have beneath it we have the male flowers which are just more a browny yellow underneath. And they're really pretty to have a look out for. So lots of needles, lumps where the needles came out of, the beautiful pink flowers at this time of year with the, the sort of yellowy um, flower, male flowers underneath and deciduous, they lose their needles. Enjoy.